What's going on guys, Ryan here again, and welcome back to Random Opening Series. And today we're going to play uh, the Random Opening to start off. And uh, so, um, it's been a week again. And uh, so, by the way, I'm re recording this on Thursday, so uh, if you're watching this uh, on release, then uh, this is one day ago. Um, should I do higher or low? Let's do low. So, there's a lot going on today. By the way, if you're wondering about like kind of recent Go stuff, um, if you've been tuning in into the pro commentaries, then you probably noticed that um, I've been I haven't really been talking about a lot about like these big tournament games, but that's because there is no big tournaments. Uh, pretty much all the uh, tournaments have been canceled. So yeah, I've been desperately trying to find interesting games for you guys to do. For the pro commentaries, um, yeah, this COVID thing has really changed a lot of things. So normally I like to do the defend, but I guess um, let's try to do the fight. I haven't played this very much though, so I'm not sure what happens when white attaches. Well, I kind of know, but not too familiar with it. So my opponent did the counter pincer, so by logic I think it, it'd be okay for me to come back because. Um, I'm pretty much, uh, I think this exchange is good because now I get to attack these stones, which will help me build the upper side. So yeah, one thing that has been driving me crazy is this haircut problem. And last time I mentioned my video, and I and I think I got a few comments that were saying, yes, hair haircut is indeed a massive issue. Um, yeah. So what I so how, the way I'm dealing with this is I, I'm gonna buy like my own like set um, and I'm gonna try it to do it myself. Well, I guess that's the only way because having like too long hair is really um, becoming quite annoying. So yeah, that's let me know how you guys are gonna deal with it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, sunny afternoon, and uh, I'm home playing Go. Pretty chill. So this series has been really going really well, and I've uh, been getting really nice comments. So thank you all for commenting on my last video. Um, I tried to reply to some of them. Um, I'm not a really talkative person, so um, if I don't reply to you, like usually it's because I kind of don't know what to say sometimes so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much um, but my opponent is doing like a playing very fast but this is not locally livable other than by Ko so the only way for white to live is to Hane and uh, descend here so <clears throat> it's actually a Ko and also since now the outside is super strong this group is going to be a problem in the very near future. Yeah. Like, especially when black comes Yo -yo over to cap. Starts. So these are all very imminent issues. Yeah, okay, so nice. This guy knows his life and death. I like this guy. <laughs> but unfortunately, he doesn't have any good co-threats. So This one, I definitely need to respond to, even though capturing is big, but this stone is not only big territory, but also it's a matter of life and death for um, the white group over here, as I mentioned. So I'm going to save this stone. Uh, I'm not sure actually between connecting and playing here. I guess both of them are okay. So now he still has to keep fighting the co. So this is like a really easy co for me since um, I don't actually have to risk anything here. Yeah. So actually, a lot of time when you play the Chinese opening, it does end up in a fight like this. What's really important is to keep good shape. So here, after I jumped, I made the push and then the knight's move to try to get stronger shape. And that makes it a lot easier to get on the attacking side. Um, so yeah, even after this move, white can't really attack black because this is actually um, relatively good shape. So yeah, basically he lost that group. And uh, he's playing through weird direction because I think the middle is bigger. Um, 
probably want to push first because if he plays here, which is the normal response, then he's gonna have um, more weaknesses to worry about. I don't know, I don't know if that actually matters though, but that's kind of like a I don't know I don't even know if that's a good habit, but it's kind of like how I been playing for a while now. So actually, probably some of these moves that I just played are kind of lacking some purpose, which is probably not good. Um, I, yeah, I kind of wanted to connect there because when white cuts, I have to actually protect the cut over here. So let me threaten this cut now and see what he does. So if the group on the left gets cut, I have to think about whether that can live. Because if it can, then the point of cutting it is not really much. So I don't really think I can just capture it, so I think I'm just going to let him come back over here and, make, and connect. Because extending here is very big for the outside. Um, oh, he didn't play in the middle. Okay, but that doesn't really matter because I, I can't cut anyway. So I'm going to keep playing on the outside to try to mix. Actually, if he honeys, I can even cut. Uh, let's do it. Huh? I'm not sure why he's crawling because the most he can get is five liberties and like this group has way more and uh, I pretty sure I continue key right now after connecting I think I can like sneakily capture this group as well um, because he's tried so hard to, to capture the to, to uh, get into a livery race in my group that he's not really watching his uh, eye space for this this dragon now so as we speak this group is also getting captured So that is surely game over. So I'm really like so probably in, in, mo in a lot of these episodes I've been talking about um, like when these accounts actually get high level, and you know I think this is it's it's actually getting really exciting because um, I know a lot of you guys have been saying well okay you get your just overplaying these three down players, but I think um, the main purpose that I'm doing this is not. Uh, it's of course not like to sandbag the three down players, but it's actually. Uh, okay, I'm just, I'm just looking at the liberties here. So after the Hane, if he plays here when I capture, it's still five versus four, so I'm good. Um, but the main purpose of this is to see how far each account gets. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> because um, yeah, so I hope that you guys can be patient and uh, stick till the end because I think it's gonna get really really interesting when these accounts actually all get to 5 done and uh, I don't even know if they can get to 7 done. So that's definitely going to be interesting. Um, Yeah, so he can't really do anything at this point, so I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. But we should get a resign soon, so we're going to move on to the next game. So actually, by now, these uh, accounts are getting pretty even, so um, all of them have about, like, five, six, seven wins, I think. I think maybe the most is seven, but, yeah. Oh, God. Um, what do I do? Extend? I don't even know what to play anymore. Okay. So I think the main... Oh, I don't know. I don't even know if I can, like, summarize this game, but... So, yeah, I think, so here, White didn't really 
do well in this fight because white invaded too early. While having a weak group, even if white lives, the middle group here is going to get attacked very severely. So in, in either case, um, it's uh, not a good strat to have two weak groups in you know, an area where black is more stone. So I think that, that I guess, is the main concept there. But yeah, let's move on to the next one, which is two. Here we go. Kobayashi again. Didn't I just get Kobayashi like a bunch of times? Oh well, I'll see you guys in a bit. And welcome back. I lied. I didn't play on uh, Kobayashi for that long. Um, so this is only seven game. Uh, okay, so nice. He extended. So that means I can do the Kobayashi opening. Nice. <laughs> so, so yeah, sometimes as white, we can actually still do the openings. So this is like a double Kobayashi opening. <laughs> So that's pretty interesting. Should I do... No, I think I should probably um, do like a invasion or something. Mm. Actually, I don't really mind playing like this. Um, I actually kind of like it when both players have like a Moyo. Um, yeah, this type of game kind of relies on your ability to invade and reduce. So if you're not really confident about your invasion ability, then uh, you usually don't play this kind of opening. So now this move is definitely too slow. Um, the opening, uh, in the opening, you don't really want to play something like that. So now I don't know where, whether I want to do the split on the left and right. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach to get some forcing moves. If I just split, no matter where I split, I can't get a two space extension because he's going to on the wider side. So then I'm going to use the uh, AI move here. This will allow me to get some free moves. If Let's say he hauntings and connects, then I can do an extension, and if he plays here, then I get to not do like a slide or something. So that's going to help me invade on the lower side. So that's kind of like the plan. Uh, oh. So I... That, that kind of surprises me. But it's a very... Uh, it's a very cool move, like, you know, uh, not really caring about, well, I guess I will just split here then. If he pincers, then, is that even good? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not good. But okay, so he played the Haunted, which means I'll get a comfortable two-space pincer. So that, um, I, I achieved my goal there. <clears throat> this is probably not good he's going to lose the corner. So, it's kind of like thinking too local, like he's, he's probably only caring about this area, so obviously this looks really nice, but then if you turn to the right, um, this is very inefficient for black right now, because white is settled here, and white is also settled here. So this is like a weak group, while black has this oil here, so this is definitely going to be a very good result for white, because in order for black to deal with this, black is going to give white a lot of moves, and so black, white is definitely going to have more potential than black. So you can see, like, in just a few moves, black has already lost any uh, way to counter against white's moil. So even though, like, see, like, if he attaches, he's going to actually hurt this side, because, well, now I've connected back to my stone, and uh, that is solely because he had to deal with his weak group here. And actually I'm expecting like a pincer here. Um, even though this is a weak group, black really doesn't have enough time to deal with this. If white gets another extension on the top, it's going to be a really good game for white. Whoa, okay. So that's actually pretty aggressive. Um, at least that's what I feel. Um, so the reason why I push and cut first is because if I play a move here first, then black might fight more since he already has to jump out. If I push and cut first, he can't really let me have three moves. Um, okay, so I see this guy is kind of actually quite aggressive. Um, as soon as I um, Tanuki here, he's actually coming over to try, try to benefit.
from me. But since I have to, I have, since I have the one space extension here, I'm not really afraid to that the stone is going to escape. Um, yeah. And it's like, even though he can capture the three stones, the reason why I extend is really for like the whole board thinking here. Um, I have a lot of potential, so also getting this Atari in the middle is going to help that immensely. So after I get this extension, really like the uh, upper right side is looking huge. And in comparison, Block is only getting about 12 points here. So that's really not a lot compared to the upper right. Now this stone is pretty much naturally dying off and I don't think it's easily invadable here so it's very nice well I think I should have uh, did like a more strict time control but um, well here we are uh, okay so how do we attack this I want to play the knight's move here um, because I think I'm I want to try to get the center, but on the other hand, the the side territory is also important. So like descending here might like be good as well. Um, I should really not sure. Let's let's just descend. I'm I'm maybe I'm too happy right now with my with my territory on the upper right. Um, but yeah, so, oh, so, okay, is that too reserved? I think that should be a reasonable move. Um, this is like the bad thing about being reserved here, because that exchange is, is a good exchange for black. But this extension is like a pure, like, um, it's too barbaric. <laughs> Like, it doesn't have any thing to back it up, so it's just too... Yeah, it's just like a barbaric move, like it doesn't have any um, backup, so it's just gonna die. And... I I don't know if that sounds like super... Um, obnoxious, but um, I think that's like pretty hard truth. Um, like, I spent a move here, and then another move, and he's going to try to run this out. Like, this is, um, definitely not going to happen. <clears throat> so, with these games, I've been trying to emphasize, uh, kind of like the general kind of things that happen in the games that I think should be helpful. Um, like, a lot... Like it, there's like a few things that I've been saying over and over again. If you if you've been paying attention to those things, um, so like one one really big thing is direction, right? And another thing is like in general, um, people play generally a bit slow. So in the opening, that really makes you fall behind. Um, and another thing is like this type of stuff, like invading when your opponent has way more stones. So, <clears throat> I mean, if you think about it, and like an average player should be able to kill it, then if you play it against someone who's weaker than you, then, I mean, you're going to win when, no matter how you play, basically. Like, if, you play any, if you play this way against someone who's, strong, who's stronger than you, then I don't think it's possible to win. So... I don't know if that logic makes sense, but that's kind of how I think about it. Um, it's really, it will really do you no good in the end if you play like this. So, I really st strongly advise against this. I mean, there's a lot of ways to invade, but this is like really the not like really the worst way to invade. It's like dragging out a group with like no eye space or no stones to help it. Maybe I'm criticizing this guy too much. I have nothing against this guy. Yeah. Um, if you watch, he's if he's watching this video, um, I'm really really talking about this way of playing in general because I think this is this is like a very popular thing that I've been seeing. So that's why I'm 
spending a little bit more time to talk about this. So yeah. Like probability wise, um, you're really trying to find the moves that gives you the highest chance of winning, right? And that's not that's it's going against that playing this way because playing weaker players, uh, your chance of winning you're not you're not increasing your chance of winning when you're playing weaker players, and you're significantly reducing your chance of winning when you're playing stronger players. So, yeah, either way, not the smartest thing. Okay, I'll stop rambling about this, and uh, I don't know, nothing nothing too interesting to talk about anymore with this. Um, he's kind of just struggling, and uh, nothing too much to talk about. <coughs> So, the Kobayashi opening, hmm, I think there's a lot more we can actually explore with this opening, because once people start approaching the large knight, like doing the large knight approach, there's a lot of variations, and a lot of tricky, tricky moves. So, yeah, I think you guys can really look forward to that. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, Stephanie is a huge, uh, she's a huge expert on the Kobayashi opening, because she used to play it a lot, and, um, when we were both amateur players, there used to be a popular opening, and there was a lot of trick moves, and a lot of, uh, it's, there's a lot of opening things. If you're not careful, it's really easy to just lose um, in the opening so yeah I think that is going to be very interesting so I'm hoping I'm not misreading here there's no eye here on the side because if black blocks white can just play here and uh, there's no weakness over here either actually I should I should have just connect it but um, that doesn't really matter so yeah, I, I I wish I could talk about a bit more about kind of like the strategy when you're trying to kill. Uh, I don't know why, but it always, it's always really hard for me to explain like general invasion like tactics. It's it's basically you just gotta read some some variations with each move. Like um, sometimes I'm I'm I pause a little bit and like I read some stuff kind of quickly. Um, for example, like you might be looking for some cuts here. What sentient moves does Black have, and do they matter for the outside, um, and stuff like that? So, um, like in in certain terms, it's just reading. But again, that's like the hardest thing there is. That's like the hardest thing for Go is reading. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's like a double edged sword, really. If if you can get yourself to grind it out. It will definitely improve you. You'll definitely improve after that. But then it's it's really hard to actually sit down and do it. I definitely know from experience. But you know, if if something is beneficial and your goal is really to improve in Go, then I really I strongly strongly advise to improve in, in this kind of stuff because even though you know like all the Go theory, but you still can't kill it because you can't really outread your opponent. Then well won't really work for you. Uh, Alright, enough about my reading rant. Let's go 8. I believe that is double 6-4. Actually, yeah, nice. I'm actually beginning to uh, remember this now. So yeah, double 6-4 coming up. I just realized I only played 4 games on this account, but I have 7 on Kobayashi. So I'm, this account is really underplayed, yet I think uh, this is arguably the most, the account with the most possibilities. I mean, like, the possibilities are endless, like, how many, how many times have you seen, have you guys seen this? And I definitely haven't played this very much. Um, 
um, in, so far. Um, I don't know if you can call, call it like a go career, but I definitely haven't played this very much. Um, actually, you know what I'm really curious about? Let me know what your favorite account is. I think I, I think I, I need to do a poll. Like, what is your fa actually? Like, I'm gonna do it like right after. It. What is your favorite account in the random opening series? I'm I'm super curious to find out. Um, yeah. So actually, this variation is not very good for Black because in the original Joseki, Black would never push. You should never push because this this just helps White. Um, so White continue key. So yeah, you should never push. <clears throat> All right. So after the approach, if I attach, I think that's going to fall into his trap again. Um, if I Tanuki though, uh, I think he's going to be also very happy. <laughs> I think you know what I want to turn because it, it's kind of like an expansion point. the The main reason uh, reasoning of behind this move is I actually want to push and cut. Uh, okay, so I'll just let him have kind of what is it? I probably shouldn't have. Pro I probably shouldn't have approached first before Tanuki. I probably just just um, left it like that. But uh, okay, wow, this guy, this guy really knows what's up. So he's he's noticed that I he knows this is kind of if Black Atari is here, Black is going to lose the corner. Um, so that's really bad. But since he has the Tanuki, when I turn it's Sente, so that is also. Very uh, bad shape for block. Um, actually, right now I really want to extend, but I think this is probably. It seems like a pretty greedy move, doesn't it? Um, okay, I'll just extend. I mean, what am I saying? It's not an extend. It's a nice move. Um, yeah, I'll just let him have that. If I extend first, like it's good for the upper side, obviously, but I think that's going to put too much pressure on my group on the lower side. I want actually this direction because if he jumps, I can actually just defend. Hmm. He's really getting. Um. He has started my will to fight. <laughs> okay, well, I guess he sacrificed that stone. Um. Okay, I'll I'll take it. Yeah, so I ran this group out, but this is a good result for White because imagine, like, if you think back, like, twenty moves. Okay, not an easy thing to do, but um, before White pushes, if Black just fixes, Black has a huge potential. So basically, I have I have a free group here that's also pressuring his group in the mill. So that actually forced him to play these moves that also help my group. So it's not like I'm having a weak group. Um, I'm actually also pressuring him as well. <clears throat> I really want to play like a like a move like here. Like it if I'm able to enclose this, like I'm gonna be a very happy player because I mean like this is so much potential. And all his groups are so weak. Oh, he's. I can attach here, can I? Oh, that's a nice Tsuji. So, I can capture the four stones. And since he hasn't exchanged the uh, endgame moves here, these stones are actually quite heavy. Huh. He's going to let me connect back. So in this case, I can actually block, because Atari here is Sente, which means he can't cut. If he cuts, I'll just Atari and block. And there's no Liberty Shortization, but he has a huge problem here now, because, yeah, he's, he doesn't have two eyes yet. <coughs> so yeah, a nice, a nice Tsuji that has won me a big favor. Because if I didn't play there, he would be able to live easily. But now, even if he can live, he's going to have to exchange like all these... Very nice move. So now I want to extend because if I double Hana, he can Atari Atari and connect. But now if he plays this move, I actually has, I actually have the choice whether I want to attack it more 
or I can uh, just enclose and let him live in Gote. So in <laughs> so I actually um, this is a mistake, a big mistake by Black, because if he plays here now, when I throw him, this group is actually dead. And I do have to read a, a, a few more moves because he's I have all obviously all these playing points now. But I don't think they actually work because I actually have that stone. Which is in a really nice position. If this this was at a star point, this none of this would work. And uh, you guys you guys will see that in a moment. So I'm gonna change this first, and then I'll just throw in. And uh, oh I see. So there's a cutting point here, so I have to be a lot more careful than I am here. Yeah, if I block right now, he can cut, and then he can cut here. So I actually have to make a jump to make sure this cut is Gote. <laughs> um, I'm actually risking quite a lot here, but I'm... Um, I'm being consistent with like the the four six right, so this is like my chance to like be as aggressive as possible. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm being like super aggressive right now. Like like look at all these cutting points. This is this is gonna be hard to capture. Yeah, I'm gonna have to connect. There's too many there's too many weaknesses on the left side. I just can't continue. But in order for him to actually get down to the right side, he's gonna have to Atari first, and then Atari this way. So I get a free um, Panuki here. Oh, I see. He's actually gonna start the co. Um, okay. <clears throat> I think I can manage though. Yo Yomi now starts. If I connect. So right now it's not Ko anymore because if I don't play when Yatari is here, I can't capture. I have to turn. So I I, I need to move here. And then, what's the deal with this thing? So before I was afraid of this cut, but right now it doesn't work because I can play this move. Um, if I connect on top, then why would be able to cut? Hmm. These are pretty fast exchange. I think he's looking at a weakness here. Um, what's the deal with this? What? Oh, okay. Well, this is Sente. Darn it. It is Sente. Um, yeah, I have to connect here. Should I connect or fix on the bottom? <sighs> yeah, I think I should just connect Nine, because eight. in the future there might be a Liberty race and I need to ensure I can fill in that Liberty there. I don't know why he's exchanging this now. Doesn't really make too much sense, but yeah. So the deal with like this cut, yeah, I think it's it's manageable. Yeah, he's 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 actually sold out all the variations on the right side. Um, yeah, I think before he could have lived, but now it seems like he's sold out too much very too many berries. So he hasn't used the Audrey too well. Yeah, there's so many cutting points and it really looked like at least one of them would work. Okay. Yeah I think I can just extend yeah. right now this cut isn't too bad anymore because I connected here. So I can just extend but now I have the 2-2 point, it threatens this Tari. 
So he actually has to fix this um, as well. But he's also looking at other turning points, I see. Okay, this deserves some more reading. I really want to block, actually. I, I can't extend. If I extend, then when he pushes and cut, there's even more cutting points. But since he has to cut Atari here in order to cut, he's actually helped me fix the middle. Oh, he, he should have extended here first, though. Because now he's actually lost the two stones. Okay, now it's for sure dead here. But yeah, before, if he extend here, if he extended here first, there might be a liberty race. But now this is just too much of a... Now this is just a long shot, because there's no cut here. I have the ladder, and he doesn't even have that many liberties. So... I think I can announce that this is dead. <coughs> I do have to be careful here not to like jump here because since there's a cutting weakness you can actually push and cut. But yeah. Um all right. Mm. If I cut here, if he tarries, then I think he's still dead. Nine. Yeah. Is it cleaner to descend or is it cleaner to capture? I think it's cleaner to capture yeah seems like a cleaner way because if he cuts I can just like haunt and connect like that's like the really the, the easiest move ever and that works so yeah there's no put there's no cut here and I have four liberties on the right side I think this is going to be his last shot. <laughs> okay. So, I think all of a sudden three downs can't read ladders. What am I saying? Now I can't read ladders. Start. Um, yeah. So, if you <laughs> if you don't know about that, um, during my uh, casual game series, there are a lot of games where uh, I couldn't read ladders. <laughs> Um, so that's where that came from. <clears throat> so he's gonna keep playing. I'm gonna find... Do I have to capture more? So th right now this group is dead. Because all the group surrounding it is alive. Okay, so he's given up. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I really took a huge risk here, and I think the, the potential turning point for this game... Well, I wouldn't say this is a turning point, but... In this, right, at this point, after the attachment, Black definitely can live. Um, it's really like thinking about the method. Oh yeah, actually, um, I found a method. So here, after the Tiger's Mouth, so the reason why I'm playing like these loose moves is because this cut is sent to me on the right side. I can't connect either because when Black cuts, that captures the three stones. So, I, I actually have to play this move. So if you imagine this shape like this, Black doesn't have to cut there, so Black has black can just extend, and White can't block, because if white, white blocks, then this cut is sente, so Black can just cut over here directly to capture the three stones. So, in this case, White would actually have to retreat somehow, but then this is definitely not capturable. But the good thing about this is that white can actually play here and then just sacrifice the stones on the side and then continue somehow protect on the right side and try to enclose the upper right. I think that would have been my strategy 
if I were to continue this game. But yeah, obviously this is not a good result because there's too many cutting points, so it's the outside is actually quite weak. But yeah, if you ca try to capture the group and you fail, that's generally the consequence. But all right, let us continue. For where we have mini Chinese, this is I don't really call playing this for a while. And wow, this account only has three games. I think I'm, I really didn't have a better idea of how my accounts are doing, because this is, okay, I guess, like, probability-wise, it's, it's not, like, too obscure, but still, three games. I really need to play more. I need to roll this account more. <clears throat> okay, so actually, this Joseki is one that most players play wrong, I think. I don't know why that's the case. Um... People seem to connect on the third line, and then when black cuts, the fight is actually difficult for white. But here black really needs to extend, I think. Um, whoa! This is one aggressive player. <laughs> He's gonna... Wow! Okay, I'm, I almost like swore there because I was so surprised. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, so he wants a fighting game, we'll do the fighting game. Uh, dang. I want to capture, actually. This code is going to be very possible if he, if, if he tanukis. And uh, I think I can attach now because if he tries to capture, hmm. Okay, this co is, is is kind of uh, in a weird kind of state, but yeah, I don't want to start it yet. Um, but yeah, this is a vital point because this actually helps me protect the the uh, the cut here. <coughs> is it worth it to start it to capture the two stones? Oh well, I'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, one aggressive player, and surprisingly, I don't have any good ways to counter that. So whatever. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, since he fixed, I will also protect, finish my, t finish off my territory on the bottom. But, yeah, he didn't really gain anything from playing like this. Like, he's just having, he's just got stones in all these places. But, really, they have no meaning. And he's got a Tengen stone. So, he's, his opening is already super slow. Um, but, actually, my advice to you guys, when you play against someone who likes to be really aggressive when they play Tengen is really be careful of your groups so try to make try to settle your groups early and don't get into like these really uh, sticky fights so yeah actually I want to connect first I want to connect first exchange that um, it also makes the group a little more heavy and also, like, later on he might have some sente moves if you want to sacrifice these, so... That's why I made that exchange. I don't know if that's good, but... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so then... I just said not to get into sticky fights. Uh, I think really this is the shape. It, it really feels right, you know? But I didn't read this too much. It, it kind of just feels right. <laughs> I definitely want to go into the center, so I, I felt that this is good. That's about as much reading that as that went to that. Alright, so here... Uh, the tiger saw? If, when he turns, I want to be able to pawn it. If, he, if I connect when he turns, I think he might cut. <coughs> 
But yeah, I think this is decent. Um, my group is fine. I have a lot of potential for ice. If I jump here or if I hone here, they're both good uh, moves for ice. But now this is definitely Gote, so I get to just really jump into the center or something. Um, I actually want to play this move to get more territory. This actually feels Gote again. Um, Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll respond. There's a lot of Aji here, and there's a Ko. When Black plays this move, I'm going to have to extend, so yeah. I'll just protect. Uh, his group isn't alive yet, and so extending also indirectly helps my weak group. So it's not really a, it's not really a sticky fight, because my group here is is it's got some uh, friends that are also escaping like like these black groups are all very weak so here it's it's just like a regular both like a like a running situation so it's it's not too much to worry about and I have like probably like a thirty point territory lead or more so that is also. Very uh, important. I don't really feel like responding now, so I'm going to. I want to invade here. Do I have a wedge? <clears throat> I think I want to attach. Should I exchange this first? Nah, I think I should. Just attack. Yeah. So right now there's this like this variation with one white wedges here. But then I wanted to attach first because that would give me some forcing moves. So when I come back to wedge, it's gonna it's gonna help me gain on this side. So right now block doesn't want to Atari here. If block Atari is here locally the shape is actually pretty good for white. Yeah, but then I get to hone back, I think. It's, it's actually quite aggressive now that I think about it, even though it seems like a nice way to sabaki, but still, there's a lot of blocks, like, especially, especially that one. If, uh, if I can't live and I can't run too freely, then yeah, it might be a little dangerous, because I, this group is still not completely alive, so I can't be too... I can't be too weak here as well. Um, then it will get to a sticky fight, so let's try not to not let that happen. But I mean, the ter territory wise, I really have nothing to worry about, so it's really just selling the two groups now. And once I can do that, then it's going to be really easy win. So now I don't want to push because it's actually a little slow getting out. When I play the ninth move, if he doesn't respond, I get to attach, and this actually is very annoying for black shape. <clears throat> so I think the reason why he's pushing is because later on there's a cut, but right now he actually can't cut. Cutting is, is really, really small. It captures the three stones, which is like seven points, but then white can capture a stone here, so it's too small. Which means I can actually just, uh, let's just like be normal. <laughs> I'm gonna play like normal and just connect back. Yeah, I think this is a should be fitting here. But yeah, like I have like a huge territory, like you. I mean, obviously this is not like the most accurate, but like this gives you like a ballpark. And now I can just connect this back. I need to find a way to make eyes 
in the middle. Now I'm, I'm going to try to make some play some moves to ensure my eye space. Yeah, it, I mean territory wise, everything is like fine. The one thing is like he can invade three three, but I can just let a little bit of, of that live, and I will still be okay. <clears throat> ah, this attachment is a good move. If I connect, then when he plays the tiger's mouth, then I have no eyes. He has to get push in. Uh, I need to take this move, I think. Actually, no, no, I don't want to do that. If I play that move, it's actually I can help him connect. If he, Even though he, he has this bamboo sente, but when I attach here, Yo, Yomi now starts. he can't connect. So this move is to local. He's not looking enough about his Yo, other Yomi now starts. See, what he should have done is he, he's, he should have exchanged this in Sentate, because if he plays here first, I'm going to have to block. And that way it's going to help this, this cut. I think we might be looking at a huge livery race, actually. But in effort to make the game simple, I'm just going to live my group. Um, I really don't need to try to capture him. Right. So after splitting the, these two groups, I already got what I wanted. Um, both of these, so this group is also kind of weak. So I should be able to easily make my groups alive, or make my group alive in the center. And that's really all that's needed. So the reason why he had to respond to this attachment is because these two stones are quite short on liberties. So um, if he doesn't answer, I can actually just make it into a huge dumpling. Like, like I can push Hane and Atari and connect, and that that would like pretty much capture this whole thing. So that was actually necessary. And after the attachment, he had to save the stone because I can net it. But this stone is also going to get captured. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four. Yeah, push. <laughs> That's gonna help my territory, though. Yeah, at this point, I don't really care about capturing any groups. Like, I can just let all of them live. Actually, like this, this group is not even alive. Yeah, so. Um, in effort to simplify the game, I think I did pretty well. And, uh, yeah, I think at this point I'll just let all the groups live. I mean, if I play this move, it'll prevent the ko, and I think I can threaten the whole group. But right now it's, it's, not, it's really non unnecessary. I'll just play for some territory. And uh, that'll be it. <clears throat> so actually, he might have made a mistake because actually now. Oh, actually, he can play the bamboo shape here. Oh, it's a cover. Okay. This is a very comfortable co threat since he filled in that liberty. The attachment, he can't really do 
do anything about. Actually, this is this is a very comfortable culprit. Right, and right now he's risking this huge group, and he's still answering. <coughs> Wait, did I just capture a group by accident? I think I just did. I didn't even I didn't even look at this yet, but um, right now if he blocks, when I block here, I I just captured a group. <laughs> well, this is this is kind of. Uh, not what I was intending, but I guess this really emphasizes the importance of shape. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know why he connected there. Maybe he's just mad, but <laughs> yeah, so actually my opponent played really well in the beginning. So Black didn't really lose any anything major um, throughout the whole game until the very end. So, in the middle fight, um, after getting separated, it really wasn't there. But on the other hand, Black is played a little slow, um, and allow White to gain a big territory advantage, and that's not possible to recover from, so that's about, that about summarizes the game. So I think these three games today were kind of nice. They were they were quite chaotic, I think. But as usual, my games are usually like that. I don't know why. Um, but I like to. I stand by the fact that I don't usually start the fights. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> I think there were quite a few things to summarize today. Uh, one is like I think the okay so. Maybe I'll just say, like, the theme for today is kind of like the general, the general Go theory is in only important up to a certain point. After you start the fight is really your reading skills, so nothing else really matters after that. But then if you keep playing against the general principles, you're going to fall behind as well, so if you have the same reading skill. But the one that plays with the general principles will usually get an advantage. Um, oh man. <laughs> really? Oh. So my opponent just disconnected. You can see like here. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to wait four minutes. So, well, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, feel free to drop a like. And uh, pro commentary coming on Monday. So I will see you next week. Just before I go, let's see what the next game is. And we have the long-awaited 3344 Tangent. See you next time.